All right, what's going on YouTube? So I'm gonna make a quick, quick video on how to use the editing software for Skater XL. And first thing you're gonna wanna do is trim your clip. So if you look at it, it is L1 plus R2, and that'll bring it to the right, as you see on the screen. If you wanna go back, you press L1 and L2. Very, very simple. Just take some getting used to. Okay, and then you're just going to want to bring it back to the one that you were at. A clip that makes the most sense. I got to do this quick. That way it doesn't take too long. So is this the right one? That was the sloppy one. Okay, this is the right one. So we're going to bring it right there. make sure this is the right one okay that wasn't the right one this has got to be the right one here okay it is so apply that all right so first things first you can zoom in and out by holding R1 and the left analog stick so zooming in and out so maybe we'll get a little zoom here and then there are three camera modes orbit tripod and then free usually what I use is free cam uh, so it's a lot easier to, you know, mimic real life filming for skateboarding. And I actually already have a clip that's going to go in the little montage or skate part that uh, I'll end up uploading. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Sun glare. Okay. So... Turn keyframes on so that way we could reset. And then we're going to bring it down right there. Go down a little bit. And we're going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to place a keyframe right here. then go down a little bit more and as soon as he lands we're gonna go ahead and drop it down a little bit more make a keyframe right here and then we're gonna go ahead and follow him so as soon as he pops boom go up a little bit here Catch it right there. And then we'll go ahead and end it. So keyframes on. Bring it back. Let's see how we did. Press X to play. Not bad. Looking good. And then a late heel. Boom. That's exactly how you can use the editor. Um, it is not the easiest thing to learn on to start off, but once you get the hang of it, I swear to you, it gets a lot easier. And you could do, like, pretty much do anything with it as far as filming's pertained. Um, you can't get fisheye on console, unfortunately, but that's why you got PC. You could do PC mods. And they're adding more mods to this. So we'll go ahead and look at it one more time. You could see my keyframes. That's You press square to add a keyframe. And you really only want your keyframes to kind of connect it all so in key moments like when he's popping when he's sliding and then when he lands and then the same thing again you'll see the pattern of three when he's popping when he's catching it and when he lands so I'm gonna go ahead and upload this uh, hopefully it uh, helps you guys out a little bit um, I wish you could see the controller so you could see what buttons I'm actually using but you know, we'll save that for another one when I do a heavy duty video on this. Um, I would stream this game. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys are interested in on YouTube. And uh, yeah, this has been the kid, uh, Stars, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A little quick something something, and I'm out. Peace.